So it's another beautiful day outside of Kwanzaa. And um, last time we thought we'd come outside, have a little chat with you. And uh, this time we want to talk about an understated helicopter overhead. Okay. We want to talk about an understated uh, hero here at Kwanzaa. It's in hundreds of universities, and every year we get more and more schools that are using these. Uh, and the reason for it is that it's such a simple device, but yet it's very expandable, and you can do a lot of experiments on it. So the basics of it are that it has a DC motor, it has an encoder on it, and it has a tachometer that you can use for uh, for getting the speed and position of of the motor uh, shaft. It also has uh, a couple of gears on top. You can change the gears around to uh, to get different performances and has a very, very simple output on uh, on the back of it. Um, you can also plug in, uh, plug in your amp to the motor very easily on it. Just on its own, um, you can do about five different experiments. Uh, first experiment is, okay, let's get a computer uh, to actually move something on a motor. So that introduces students to the concept of, uh, of data acquisition, of uh, sending out a, an output to a motor, getting information back. Um, the next step is, okay, uh, now I want to actually control the position of the motor. So where am I going to uh, move things around? How do I want to uh, move the gears around so that they, they get to a certain position? After that, speed control. And then once the students have mastered that, it's modeling a controller. How do I design a controller that will get a particular performance that I want? So it's a very flexible device. Um, there are a whole bunch of different add-ons that, um, that can be put on and screwed into these uh, top uh, top uh, holes over here. Uh, one of them which is really popular and I have here is a little bit of show and tell is the inverted pendulum. So this thing is really easy. It has a bunch of thumb screws. You screw them right in and then uh, you can design a controller that will keep the pendulum up in the air. It has an encoder on the end of them. Uh, on the end over here. Uh, the other a neat thing is that if I have two of these um, I can put them side by side and have a two degree of freedom um, robot or I can even, um, you know, have a, a ball balancer. They're really, really cool experiments that could, you can do with this um, this device. Uh, one thing that we started to notice more and more is that people are using this as the uh, as a base for some of their own experiments because you can get really, really easy uh, position control, speed control off of it. Um, it's very easy to add things on top of it. So. Making your own experiment with this can be it can be pretty simple. So that's the SRVO2. Very very simple, but very powerful. The other thing too is that we have curriculum that goes with this, so that it's very easy to teach it. So there you go, understated hero of Kwanzaa, the SRVO2.